Hello again. Um, I thought I'd do a quick inbox review of this new kit I've just got. Uh, Zvezda uh, Yak 3 Soviet Fighter. Um, nice box art. Shooting down a 109. Looks pretty good. Uh, 148 scale. Made in Russia. Uh, you probably know. Uh, kit number 4814. Uh, some nice sort of built up built up kit so you can see what it's going to look like unpainted looks like it's got a very nicely detailed engine there a um, little bit of information on the side um, humble paints which quite useful easy to get hold of and cross reference these to most other brands without too much of an issue uh, 127 parts Total length 17.7 centimeters. Um, usual sort of warnings on the side. No real details about the aircraft though. Uh, nice sturdy box. Nice thick cardboard. Proper top opening. Uh, we'll start with the instructions. Uh, three options, um, wheels down, engine cowlings off so you can see the engine, um, in flight with the display stand, uh, looks like the display stand is separate, it's got a different part number, and fairly standard wheels down uh, option. Um, just useful advice, bits of information here, study the instructions carefully, that sort of stuff. It's unsurprisingly what looks like Russian, English and various other languages. Sprue map, always very useful. Um, a few bits of information about tools, I assume these are tools that you can purchase from them because again they seem to have kit numbers or part numbers. Um, and then we pretty much crack straight on. Interestingly we start with the wing and the wheel wells cockpit goes on to the top of the uh, the wing um, pilot figure which is nice um, looks like there's decors here for the instrument panel which is good um, and we really just got the rest of the cockpit going together here there's obviously different versions this is for version one only not quite sure what them oh I see okay so Potentially you wouldn't have the pilot necessarily in version 2 and 3, uh, oh no, version 1, but 2 and 3, well I guess it's up to you really what you're going to do with the pilot at the end of the day. Um, we've got details here, a bit of interior detail going together, then the two fuselage halves that then go on top of the wings, and the figure and the seat which you've already installed. Wheel well, uh, sorry, wheels, landing gear going together there. Uh, air intake at the bottom here. Um, obviously, you've got an option for for wheels closed, wheels open, and then we go through the engine build. Looks like it's got quite a nice detailed little engine. Uh, quite a few steps, plenty of paint information. All these bits here in black with the little stars of the paint numbers um, and they actually do correspond to Humbrol paint guide at the back here um, engine going in or if you're going to have it in flight you can potentially just skip the whole engine build it looks like you've just got two uh, halves of the front nose going together there guns which is quite nice um, you can have the uh, canopy open or closed. Looks like it's a one piece um, propeller part. Um, and it, oh, it does actually say the support is not included into this mo model complete set. <laughs> uh, can be got in addition. And then there's a uh, catalogue down there. And then a basic paint guide on the back uh, gives you three uh, variants there. 
the one on the front with the red nose. You've got one with a nice lightning bolt down the side here. And then one with a sort of almost like a seagull emblem here. Um, as I said, this is your colour call outs as you can see. They're all humble paint number uh, numbers. Humble is the only option they give there. Okay, so that was what's in the box. Uh, we'll, actually, we'll quickly cover the decals. Um, decals literally like that, there's no protective paper. Um, luckily, they don't seem to have got damaged. Um, never worked with these decals before. In fact, I've never done it as a Vesta kit before, so this will be a first. Um, they all look pretty good. Register wires are quite sharp. Um, I think, I don't know whether you can read the writing, I think you can by the looks of things there. Um, the whites are a little yellow. Um, this isn't an old kit, I think it's 2012. Um, but the, well, maybe that's the colour they should be, uh, I don't know. But they seem to be a little, almost cream, not white. But maybe that's normal. But hopefully they'll go down okay, they certainly look alright. Uh, we've just got a bit of bubble wrap in here. There isn't really anything else packaging wise. Um, we'll get crack on here. Okay, so we've got um, what appears to be a flash a free sprue. Um, there's some nice rivet. I don't know how well you're going to pick that up, but there is some actually really nice uh, recessed rivet details and panel lines. Um, it's fairly, and it's nicely crisp, not too deep, trench-like. A um, bit of cockpit side panel already built in into the uh, into the bottom of the or the top of the wing here. Uh, wheels look very basic though. There's not much detail there. Um, panels. Sort of part of the seat, um, top of the engine, sort of engine cowling part here. Nice. Uh, in fact, it actually does say 2012 on here. Um, no horrible. Well, there are some injection pin marks, but they don't seem to have come through, left any horrible sink marks. So that's nice. I think we've only really got three grey sprues here. Um, yep, it's a one-piece um, propeller nose there. This is a sort of framework for the engine. Again, it's some nice re uh, rivet detail on there, and it's all pretty much seems to be flash-free. Nicely detailed grill there. Sorry, the light's not brilliant. Um, there's not actually a lot of panel lines, but what is there is is fine. Um, with some uh, recessed rivets. These are the two main nose parts if you don't actually build the engine. So it's a it could, would be a very simple kit if you forget if you're going to do it in flight or you just don't want to do the engine exposed. Um, instrument panel is a little bit disappointing. There's not a lot of detail uh, there. But if you're going to use the decal, um, it's not such an issue. <coughs> but again, no flash. There is some injection pin marks here, but I suspect you're not going to see them because they'll be covered um, once the cockpit fuselage is going to heart, go together. Um, the last uh, sprue really is predominantly the engine. Um, and the, your crew figure. Interestingly, you've got two heads. One with again. Sorry, you may or may not be able to see that. Nicely detailed again. Uh, one with goggles up. One with goggles down. So you've got a nice pilot figure there, which is always a good bonus. Um, the engine looks brilliant, actually. The detail there is fantastic. Got all the pipe, loads of pipe work. Um, I should think that would build into quite a nice little engine. <laughs> Probably well worth doing. Again, pretty much flash free. 
which is nice particularly on these smaller parts so they should be relatively easy to to clean up nice good what is good although there's no plastic bags for the parts there is at least a plastic bag to protect the clear parts so I'll leave that zoomed in so you can see uh, nice and thin parts they're pretty clear actually uh, doesn't seem to be a lot of distortion either lovely clear parts actually really nice no horrible seam lines or anything to take care of should go together really well and I think that's pretty much it uh, I think we've just got a standard sort of uh, bit of information there there is one thing I actually forgot to check on the decals oh yeah there's uh, there is sorry I forgot to mention this there is some instrument uh, dials there they look okay uh, I think with some careful painting uh, maybe that you can be used that's it that looks like a pretty good kit hopefully I'll get around to building this in the not too distant future something a bit different for me um, I've never actually done I don't think a Russian fighter of any type so uh, should be a good build uh, thanks for watching cheers